Hello guys, today I'll be showing you um, a comparison of TK2 reproduction helmets. Right over here is Helmet Hut, Pat Sullivan, uh, Auburn. Right here we have Riddell um, reproduction um, TK2. Um, not Bart Starr because he had a TK5, just 60s Packers. So, we're going to start off with Helmet Hut. Here's Helmet Hut's Pat Sullivan Recupla. Very beautiful. Excuse me. Sorry about that. Anyway, helmet huts. Um, it has a gray little rubber donut. It says historic suspension helmet, so they don't get uh, taken down for copyright issues. It is a more bluish greenish gray color and if you look at the shell the ear little part right here isn't coming out as much and the hole is a little bit deformed the hole is a little bit too tall um the helmet is a little bit too tall in general um it goes way out right here Form that there are no wear bars which I took out so I can put it on now the little head protector right here it's thicker I will say and also and also um well that's about it Oh yeah, and they paint the inside gray. It might already be gray. Now we're going to move to Riddell's. Um, this is taken from their their um what do you call it vsr4 mold or shell molds so from a vsr4 it has the other i've drilled a lot of holes in it but these two right here actually are in the mold and they're for a vsr4 also there, there is no nowhere bar in it. They don't put them in it. And it says, and it's just a flat gray, and it says Riddell Suspension Helmet, like it should say. The head protector is much more thinner, and it does not have a originally painted, and it, the, side, the inside isn't painted. Now, you might be like, but it is, it's clearly painted. I painted it when I was young. So it could be more yellow, but there it is to give you a view. It's not really that painted, and the paint kind of interferes right there. So, um, there's the front. Both companies do a very great job on recuplating it. We can tell from looking over here, the helmet is about perfect size, it isn't, it isn't too tall. The ear hole is 100% circular and round, not shot up. Let's give it a, let's see them side by side. Um, if 
if you look, I should say, there I am, hey, hey, um, you can see, I've said you can see about 10 times. The ridge almost kind of goes up. Like that, yeah, that's normal, but it, it is too thick on the helmet hut. This is more accurate. You know what? Oh, yeah. To be honest, I would say since Fidel just stopped making TK2 reproductions, Helmet Hut still does it. Um, I would say Helmet Hut, the company that invests and works on authentic reproductions, that's what it focuses on, is actually not the winner, it would be Riddell. They are the winner in my opinion. So, I think they have it more correct. Well, thanks for watching. That is all. Bye.